Hello and welcome to CAD Maniac. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to model a simple floor plan in Revit or actually how to draw a simple floor plan in Revit. And I'll also show you how to set up the floor plan so that you can have this pretty cool looking 3D floor plan views that you can render it later on. Today, this will be just a beginner tutorial. So before creating the floor plan in Revit, I'll briefly explain you the interface of the Revit software first. The version I'm using here is Revit 2020 and it's an educational version. As you all know Revit is an Autodesk product. You can see here Autodesk Revit 2020. So if you are a student, you will get the software student license for free for 3 years. So you just have to install it from Autodesk official website. And I want everyone to comment in the comment section on whether I should make Revit tutorials more often from now onwards. Or should I continue making tutorials on AutoCAD more often? And don't forget to like the video as it motivates me to make more such CAD tutorials. Moving on, this is the welcome screen or the launch screen of Revit 2020 version. This software has a unique ability to design, update and document your project information within a single file. And it's quite unique in its comprehensive beam approach to design. That is the building information modeling approach. As all your data resides in a single project file, you can work in any view to edit your model. That is plan, section, elevation, 3D, seats, details or even schedules and the file updates in all the views automatically. So this has a tremendous building information modeling approach which gives Revit an edge over the other beam tools available in the market. So the upper half of the launch screen consists of the models area. From here we can open an existing model that we have already created and we can continue to work on and we can create brand new models by clicking on this new icon here. Here you will have the access to the most recently accessed Revit models. So you can continue working on the model anytime where you left it off. I don't have much here as I have recently updated to Revit 2020 version. And in the bottom half of the launch screen we find the families area. This is basically the component or the building blocks that go into the Revit models. These can be standalone files that can be created in Revit or can be downloaded from internet. Examples of such families can be light fittings, furnitures, electrical appliances, structural elements, etc. And you can create your own Revit component from here. You just have to click on new and then create your own family. Now for starting to create a new model, we have to click on new and select a template first unlike in AutoCAD. Typically a Revit template holds all the elements that you can commonly use. So you could inhabit your Revit template with all the elements you want and set it accordingly. But we have a few predefined templates here. And for this project, we will use the architectural template. So just select it, hit OK and Revit starts a brand new project based on the template you chose. So the toolbar at the top left corner of the screen is known as the quick access toolbar. This toolbar consists of the tools which you use the most. You can customize this. You can have whatever tools you find most convenient on there. And for adding any tool, you just have to right click on the tool and add it to the quick access toolbar. Now these are the tabs, file tab, architectural tab, structure, steel and so forth. And these are some of the basic options we have in the files tab which comes under the application menu. And under all the remaining tabs we have this ribbon system which consists of different panels. For example build panel, circulation panel, model panel, different panels for different tabs. And each panel consists of individual tools. So in the architectural tab, we got the build panel with all our main architectural building elements and all the other architectural components in the other panels. So we will come to all of these later in the upcoming videos of this Revit series. Moving along, this is the structure tab. Everything to do with structural engineering can be found in this tab, such as beams, columns, trusses, braces, reinforcement bars, etc. Next is the steel tab. This is a new addition to the Revit 2020 version. It consists of the fabrication elements, structural plates, anchoring elements, weldments and lot more. Next is the systems tab. 
This is where we get the mechanical, electrical and plumbing tools. So MEP work can be done using this particular tab. Then comes the insert tab. Revit can work with variety of different file types. So we can link files as well as we can import them through this tab. This is the annotated tab. So to add 2D details and annotations, everything you need is contained in this tab. The analyze tab helps us to analyze our virtual model that is structural analysis, load calculations, energy analysis and all. Using massing and site tab, we can add topographical surfaces for our building. We can add site components, parking components and we can add building pads through this tab as well. Through the collaborate tab, you can work as a team and one can edit and sync a model in cloud or through LAN or WAN. Then is this view tab. So through this tab you can actually create or generate different views for a 3D model. May it be 3D views, may it be section, elevation, plan views and lot more. Manage. Through this tab you can manage all the settings of your project. You can use materials browser to find and apply materials to the families or to the model elements. In add-ins tab, you can print large number of drawings through batch print. You can transmit models. You can check and manage your models against beam standards. And you can associate various files with format. And finally is the modify tab, which allows us to modify the models or the families we have created. And throughout the Revit series, we will learn all the modify tools in detail. This palette in the left side of the screen is the properties palette, which is used to display the parameters and their associated properties of all the elements you have created in Revit. And in the right side of the screen is the project browser, where all your project information is stored. So you can navigate to all the different views. So we will come to all of these later. This is the drawing area or the drawing canvas which will be used for the modeling and the detailing part. These are the four directions available that is north, south, east and west. And this elevation section helps us to navigate through all the different views of a building. This one at the bottom is the view control bar. So these are some of the tools for frequently used view properties. So you can change visual styles from here. You can show or hide elements and lots more. And at the dead end of the screen is the status bar which shows the drawing status and helps us to proceed with our project. Now we will start creating the floor plan. So first I'll set the unit. Just type UN and the project units window appears. I have set the units to millimeters for this project. You can change the unit from here. So just set it to millimeters and hit OK. Hit OK again. Now for creating the wall, just click on wall tool or type WA. Now you can select a wall type from here. Plenty of families available here. I'll use a generic 250mm wall for exterior of the house. But it's not available. So I'll select this one and edit it. For that I have to click on edit type. Now I won't change the property of this wall. I'll create a duplicate of this wall and then change its property. So click on duplicate. Rename it to 250mm. Then click on OK. Now we have renamed the wall. But to change the thickness of the wall, click on edit in the structure section. Then change the thickness to 250mm. Then hit OK. Hit OK again. And now we have a wall of 250mm width. Now in the options bar, height is set to unconnected. So you can choose any of the elevations. Double click on it. And you can edit levels. You can add levels. Rename them, for example, ground level, plinth level, first floor, second floor and roof level. You can change the distance between the levels. Now to edit, you just have to double click on it. And change it according to your need. So I'll set the level to at 3000 mm. Then I'll get back to level 1 of the floor plan. I'll discuss the levels and grids in detail in my next tutorial. I won't use this in this tutorial. I don't want to confuse the beginners for now. I'll close this window. 
click on wall again now from here if i set the height to level 2 that means the height of this wall is set at 3000 mm now in this case i'll set the wall height to unconnected and input the height so i'll set it to 3000 and leave it as i said i won't use any levels here in this tutorial as this is just a basic tutorial for absolute beginners now to make you understand the location line i'll just create a wall so just left click in the drawing window then zoom in scroll upwards as in autocad to zoom in you can see a blue dotted line passing through the center of the wall that's the location line i don't want the line at the center as the dimensions will be from center to center of the walls i want it at the interior face so i'll set the location line to finish face interior now if i draw a wall you will notice the location line has shifted to the interior face of the wall you can just move the cursor for direction and left click to create the wall you can use these extensions to align the walls now to exit you can hit escape key twice if you press escape key once or right click and cancel it exits from this wall but the wall tool is still active in the properties bar so you have to press escape once again or right click and cancel again to completely exit from the wall tool you can zoom in and zoom out using the scroll button of the mouse scroll upwards to zoom in and downwards to zoom out for panning just press and hold the cursor of the mouse and then move it for selecting an object you just have to press and hold left click and then drag the mouse like this i'll erase this wall for now now click on wall tool again i'll use rectangle to draw the wall so click on rectangle tool click somewhere in the drawing area then move the cursor diagonally upwards and left click to create a rectangular wall as shown you can easily edit these temporary dimensions after exiting from the wall so i'll press escape twice to exit then select this wall click on this temporary dimension make it 13000 mm press enter or click outside the dimension box then select this wall and edit this dimension to 12000 mm then press escape click on wall tool again i'll use line tool this time and by default it's always selected then click somewhere here on this wall move the cursor upwards click randomly to create the wall then move towards right and click on this wall and then press escape once or right click and cancel so that the wall tool is still active in the properties palette and then draw the walls as shown don't worry about the dimensions as we can edit them anytime then press escape twice to exit or just right click and cancel twice now i'll trim a few walls so type tr for that then to trim this wall select this wall and then this wall and you can see it's trimmed then to trim this wall select this one and then this one same here you just have to left click to select the walls then just press escape or right click to cancel now click on wall tool again now for the interior i'll use a generic 125 mm width wall but i don't have it so i'll select this one then click on edit type click on duplicate rename it to 125 mm hit ok click on edit in the structure section and then change the thickness of the wall to 125 then hit ok hit ok again then just click somewhere here on this wall move towards left left click move downwards then click on this wall then right click and cancel i'll press escape once more and then move this wall a bit towards left you can drag the wall like this to move you can select the wall and use direction keys in the keyboard to move as well and then press escape click on wall tool again click at this end point move it towards left now i want to flip the direction of the wall so you can press spacebar to flip it 
then click using the extension of the wall as shown then right click and cancel draw a wall like this press escape or right click and cancel then a wall like this don't press escape twice while drawing the walls otherwise you have to click on wall tool again and again just press escape once then click at this end point press spacebar to flip the direction of the wall and draw the walls as shown then right click and cancel we can create the walls and then easily edit them at any point of time that's why i like revit so much i don't have any more interior walls so i'll just right click and cancel now i'll align these walls so type al select this line and then this line of this wall to align this then right click and cancel to exit no more walls to align at this moment so i'll press escape once again we can select any of the walls by crossing window and then we can use arrow keys in the keyboard to adjust or edit this so i'll adjust the walls a bit you can do the same as shown now to edit the temporary dimensions select the wall drag this point from here to this wall then click on this dimension and edit it as shown then select this wall edit this dimension so in this way you can edit the temporary dimensions so just watch and do it as shown press escape now i want to align these walls so type al then select this line of the wall and then this line to align you can click on this lock to lock the alignment so that the walls move together whenever you move one of these walls then just press escape to exit from a line you can select any of the walls like this by crossing window and then adjust the walls and of course you can select any of the walls and edit the temporary dimensions at any point of time you want now i'll add a few more walls one like this and one like this here in the balcony portion so i'll click on wall tool select 250 mm generic wall and draw the walls as shown then exit by pressing escape key twice or right clicking and cancelling twice now i'll trim this wall so type tr then select this wall and then this wall and you can see this warning pops up and this wall disappears so i'll just click on cancel now first i'll split the wall and then use trim tool so for splitting type sl then just click at this wall and then add this wall to split the walls press escape twice then type tr and select the walls as shown to trim the inner walls then press escape to exit from the trim tool then you can select the walls by crossing window and then use direction keys in the keyboard to adjust the walls as shown you can select any of the walls and edit the temporary dimensions as well you can align these walls and lock it
Now we will place the doors in the plan. So click on door tool or type DR. Single flush door is available in the properties panel. I'll select this one and place one over here at the bedroom. You can press spacebar to flip the orientation of the door and then just left click to place it. I'll place one over here in the bath, one at this bedroom. Press space by any time to flip the door and finally one over here to get into this balcony. Then press escape twice to exit and after placing the doors you can select it and adjust these dimensions at any point of time you want. Now I'll place a glass panel door at the entrance. Before that, I'll move this wall a bit towards left by selecting the wall and use direction keys in the keyboard. Now click on door tool again. I don't have any family except the single flush. So I'll click on load family. I'll show you the directory from where you will get all the families. So first you have to get into the drive where you have installed Revit. Then get into program data. Autodesk, Revit, Libraries, then get into this US metric folder, then get into doors and you will get a hell lot of door families. I'll get into residential folder. I'll add this one. You can also add fixed glass panels if you want. I won't. I'll just select this one. Click on open. Then I have to select the type of the door. I won't unnecessarily add all the doors to the palette. I'll just add those which I'll use in this project. I'll select this one, then hit OK. Now the door has been added to the properties palette. So I'll place it at the entrance like this. And you can always adjust the door after placing. Just select it and use direction keys in the keyboard. Now as all the doors have been placed properly, we will click on this default 3D view and see how it looks. You can orbit the model by pressing and holding the cursor button of the mouse and moving it while pressing shift key in the keyboard. You can change the visual style from here. I'll change it to realistic and have a look. Now I'll get back to level 1, so double click on it. Now I'll add windows to the plan. So click on window tool or type WN. So these are some of the families available in the properties palette. And I'll add a few more to it. So just click on load family. Click on back twice. Get into windows folder. Lots of families here. I'll select this sliding window. Press control and select this one as well select this one too then click on open select the types as shown you can select any of the types you want then hit ok and hence all the families will be added to the properties palette then select the window types from here and place it as shown You can click at this flip icon to change the orientation of the window. Now I'll select the single hung window and place one over here as I'll place a sink over here. One here at the bath. While moving the cursor, it automatically shows the mid of the wall. 
so you can place at meet at will i'll place one over here now i'll place some fixed glass panels over here and in the balcony portion so just watch and complete it So this looks good. So get into 3D view. Then orbit the model and have a look. Now if you want to change the color of the walls, select a wall, click on edit type. Click on edit in the structure section. Click here. Then click on this three dot. Scroll downwards to find the default material. Then select it. Go to appearance. Click on color and set it to white. I like the walls this way. Then apply. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And then again. And you can see the walls has been turned into white now. Then I'll get back to level 1 and add a few components, some furniture, water closets and a few things. So click on component or type CM. I don't have much here. So I'll click on load family. Then get into furniture folder. I'll select the TV and then the tv stand by pressing ctrl key then click on open it's added in the properties palette i'll click on load families again then i'll add this bed to the properties palette as well i'll load some sofas and chairs I'll place the sofas in the living room. You can change the orientation of the sofas by pressing space bar. Then you can place these as shown. Place the beds as shown. Put some chairs in the balcony so that you can sit with your partner and have a sip of coffee together while enjoying nature. Place a TV stand over here. One over here or maybe I'll have one in this bedroom. Then select this big TV and place it at this TV stand. Then select a smaller one and put it over here at this stand. Then just add a few more elements as shown such as dining table, small coffee table and some storage spaces and place them as shown.
adjust the components if required by just selecting them and then using direction keys then get into 3d view and then orbit the model to have a look the tvs are at the ground level so i'll adjust this first select the tv stand click on edit type so the height of the table is 500 mm so hit ok then select the tv set the offset distance as 500 and then move the cursor towards the drawing area to apply same for this tv as well this is the kitchen so you can put slabs over here now get back to level 1 now i'll add the floor so click on floor tool I'll use the generic 150mm floor. Make sure the peak walls tool is selected. Then just select the wall while pressing tab key in the keyboard. And you can see the outer boundary have been created. I'll add different floor at the bathroom and at the kitchen area. Maybe some tile. So for deselecting these portions from the floor type, just click on rectangle tool and draw the rectangles as shown covering the kitchen and the bath and then click on this stick to apply then click on edit type click on edit in the structure section click here click on this three dot I'll use this oak flooring then hit ok ok apply and ok again now click on float tool again click on edit type click on duplicate rename it to maybe generic 150 mm tile hit ok click on edit in the structure row click here click again on this three dot then i'll search for some tile the ceramic tile will be ok so hit ok ok and ok again then click on rectangle tool and draw the rectangles as shown click here to finish edit mode so tiles have been added to the bathroom and the kitchen so you can have a look at the 3d view now you can edit the color of the tiles as well if you want you can zoom in and have a look now get back to level 1 click on component 
click on load family get back to libraries folder get into us metric folder search for plumbing here it is so get into it get inside architectural folder then fixtures bathtubs i'll add this one then place it at the bathroom as shown press spacebar to change the orientation of the bathtub this looks nice now click on load family again click on back get into this sinks folder select this round one this kitchen sink and then this one as well click on open place this one over here then select this vanity square and place it at this wall change the orientation by pressing spacebar change its orientation and place it as shown then click on component click on load family again and add this water closet change its orientation by pressing space bar and place it at this corner as shown then press escape to exit and then you can select the 3d view window and have a look so everything looks good now i'll add some racks here maybe for the shoes and the other stuffs so i'll get back to level one click on component click on load family click on back until the us metric folder comes then get into the furniture system get inside storage folder then select this cabinet and this one as well click on open then select the type as shown to add this to the properties palette then place the cabinets as shown and change the orientations by pressing spacebar move and adjust this by using direction keys then get into 3d view and see how it looks if you want you can move this door towards right as well Now I'll show you how to render a simple image out of this. For that type double R and the rendering window opens. Set the settings to best. I'll leave everything else as it is. Then click on render and it takes a certain amount of time to render the image depending upon the configuration of your desktop or your laptop and after it's done you can save this image to your project under the rendering section you will get this image and i can export it as well and save it as an image file in your computer so this is the image we have got now i'll close the render window and get back to level one now i'll set a camera inside the house and render an image of the camera view before that i'll add ceilings so that it looks cool so double click on level one of the ceiling plan then click on ceiling tool 
I'll select the compound ceiling. Click inside this room. Then inside this room. Now when I move the cursor here, it takes the complete area. So I'll draw the ceiling here. So click on sketch ceiling and draw the lines as shown. Then click on this stick to add the ceiling. Now I'll fit a few lights at the ceiling. So click on component, click on load family. Select lighting, get into architectural folder, get into internal lights folder, then select this truffle light and maybe this one. Click on open, then select the truffle light and place this as shown. Then select this one and place these as shown as well. You can edit the temporary dimensions if you want. In this case, I'll leave this as it is. Don't forget to double escape to exit. So this is done. Now get into 3D view. So this is how it looks from the top. To have a look from inside, check this section box. Then select this box and drag this arrow like this. And then orbit the model to have a look. I'll check out from the section box for now and get back to level 1 of the floor plan. Now select camera from here, click somewhere here and then click in this side. I'll change the visual style to realistic. You can use orbit to adjust the view. Then type double R to open the rendering window. I'll set the lighting scheme to artificial lights only quality settings to best and then click on render so after completion i'll click on save to project so it comes under rendering section and i can export it as well so this is the final image we have got so i'll close it and close the rendering window as well and you can double click on the images to have a look at this. You can see the elevations from here. Just double click on the directions. So guys, I hope you have learned something new in this tutorial. And as Revit is a humongous software, it can't be explained in one tutorial. But for beginners, I think this tutorial will be helpful enough. So watch it again and again and practice. And please like and share the video so that I can come up with such tutorials more often and comment below for any doubts and do subscribe the channel. So that's it for this video guys. Bye bye.